Joel, <laughs> what's yours? Start us off. I was dating a policewoman. Uh, we, we'd been dating for a bit and we were waiting for the right moment to, ha to have sex. And yeah. we were sort of, we'd waited quite a while and we were like, because it was really important to us, right? We'd sort of set this date. We were like, this is the date. I think we should do it that night. That's right? lovely. It squares, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> and that day, I was at my friend's house and he was like, oh, I'll tell you what you should do to have the best sex of your life. And I was like, what? And he said, you should take Viagra. It will, like, just make your night incredible. And so I took this Viagra and I had to pick her up from the police station. And you said, I've got a truncheon as well. <laughs> <laughs> And she gets in the car on the way home. She goes, uh, I've got some really bad news. And she said, oh, I'm, I'm on my period. <laughs> so tonight, uh, that our night is not going to ha happen. <sighs> is that OK? And obviously, I'm like, yeah, that's absolutely fine. But in the back of my head, I'm like, oh, no, that's not fine at all. <laughs> we get home and we start watching, <laughs> we start watching Netflix. <laughs> We're in bed. I've got my laptop just on top of my boxer shorts. <laughs> And we start watching a Nazi documentary. <laughs> <laughs> and we watch it, it's like, I'm saying, it's like the height of the war. <laughs> and <laughs> I, just, I just start to get one of the most aggressive boners <laughs> I've ever had in my entire life. It's so, it's almost as if my penis is doing a Nazi salute. <laughs> <laughs> And there's no way of hiding it. That it's just literally there. It's, it's now a table for my laptop. <laughs> and it's there. And she's like, OK, this guy's really into this stuff. <laughs> and um, so I never had sex with her. So you, it, it didn't happen? No. It scared her off? It scared her off for many different God. reasons. <laughs> so, when your penis is erect, does it hang to the left or the far right? <laughs> <laughs> Joel, thank you very much. I'm very really good. sorry. I really should have done some research before coming on this well... program. <laughs> I know, I know. These sorts of stories. <laughs> hey, Joel, there is no way around this on a show called Unforgivable. Let's get this covered early doors. You have sadly been involved in revealing oneself on screen. <laughs> It's on every Saturday night. It's called The Masked Singer. Am <laughs> <laughs> I right, right gang? I'm not referring to that dodgy footage online. I haven't seen it. Do you want to talk about that, or shall I shut up? When you're describing it, you're doing this movement with your hand, <laughs> which is weirdly exactly what I did on the video. No! <laughs> You're a good man. Yeah, you're a it's good Joel, you're a good man with a lovely penis. <laughs> <laughs> the, the funny part of it that I think is really great is that basically I was catfish, if you don't know, and apparently they catfished lots of different people. And uh, in fact, one person that they catfished, they made a Channel 4 documentary about it. And this documentary interviewed me. And this guy, he went, uh, so you were catfished by these people that I was catfished with. Um, and this interview was like, it took me about sort of 18 months of communication with them to finally trust them enough to have Skype sex with them. And they went, Joel, how long <laughs> was it before you trusted them and you had Skype sex with them? I had to look him right in the eye, just go, 20 minutes. It's like 20 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> That's true. That is absolutely true. The staff room. Oh. Ringing any buzzing bells? I think this is me. Oh, Joel. <laughs> does it involve a Nazi? <laughs> no, it does involve my penis. Oh, uh, my God. Oh, here. here we go. Here we go. Come on. When, when I first found my penis... <laughs> You know when you find when it... was it? In a drawer? You, you... <laughs> <laughs> I used to masturbate in weird places. We were doing a school play and we were sort of rehearsing it during, like, a half-term or something. And so there was no teachers in. And so once, I just went and I did it in the staff room. <laughs> um, I used to do it in the loft um, <laughs> because my mum was scared of heights, so it was the only place I knew she wouldn't be. <laughs> well done. So I'd just go straight up, straight to the insulation. If anything, I was making the house warmer. Um... Uh, I see you so differently now. Oh. Again, I'm going to say this out of my mouth. I don't think I've ever said it aloud before. Say it, you can it's say always it. always an issue, but I used to... <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I used to, um, I, I used to, uh, I used to kneel down next to the side of my bed and I used to lift up the mattress because it was the perfect height of where my penis was between the bedding and the mattress. Just wrap, just wrap kitchen roll and then just, and then I used to, used to hump my bed. <laughs> And, uh, and, uh, and it used to, honestly, it used to bruise my dick so bad. <laughs> and so I had to always wait at least another sort of week before I did it again. I'm sorry, team. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. That bonging means you are that much closer to being crowned unforgivable. Excellent Small stuff. Small kettle. <laughs> oh. Oh dear. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Guys, let, we know what this is going to be. He'll have wanked into the kettle. <laughs> and then that's it. End of, end of this bit. It. Come on, Joel. Just keep it coming. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> I once was in the staff room again. <laughs> oh. And I thought I was dead by my friends. I thought it'd be really funny if I if I urinated in the staff room kettle. <laughs> I know. This is terrific. How am I on primetime Saturday night television? <laughs> well, Savile was on for ages, wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> no, I <knew. laughs> But um, yeah, and I did it, and I was like, ah, and then I just had this wave of regret. <laughs> so I went and up to Argus. And I bought the same kettle, and I replaced it. <laughs> and so I, I had. I, so I tried to do like a prank. Yeah. In the end, I just ended up buying the school a new kettle. 